Have you ever wondered how our ancestors maintained their hygiene? It's a question that unlocks a fascinating journey into the past. The pursuit of cleanliness has been a fundamental human endeavor since the dawn of civilization. Yet the hygiene secrets of ancient societies remain largely unexplored, shrouded in the mists of time. From the sun-drenched banks of the Nile in ancient Egypt to the fertile plains of Mesopotamia, from the grandeur of Greece to the might of Rome, hygiene has played a pivotal role in shaping societies, cultures, and even religions. This quest for cleanliness wasn't just about personal comfort. It was a matter of health, survival, and a testament to human ingenuity in the face of adversity. So, let's embark on this intriguing journey together. Let's unravel the secrets, the practices, and the wisdom of our ancestors. Join us as we delve into the intriguing world of ancient hygiene practices. Picture the sun-drenched land of ancient Egypt, where bathing held significant importance. Here, the daily ritual of bathing wasn't just about cleanliness, but it was a sacred act intertwined with cultural and religious beliefs. Men and women indulged in daily baths using a mixture of natron and water. Natron, a naturally occurring salt, served not only as a cleansing agent, but was also believed to purify the body and soul. But the Egyptians' commitment to hygiene didn't stop at bathing. They were meticulous about dental hygiene too. Toothpicks and chewing sticks made from aromatic plants were used to clean teeth and gums. Archaeologists have even found evidence of toothpaste concoctions made from powdered pumice, myrrh, and burnt eggshells. Imagine thousands of years ago they already had a grasp of oral care. As we can see, hygiene was an integral part of daily life and religious practices in ancient Egypt. Now, let's journey to the cradle of civilization, Mesopotamia. Here, hygiene was viewed as a necessity for health and well-being, just as it was in other ancient societies. Mesopotamians made an early form of soap from animal fats and ash, a rudimentary solution that was surprisingly effective in removing dirt and grime. This soap-like substance was used for both bathing and cleaning, showcasing the ingenuity of our ancestors in their quest for cleanliness. But cleanliness wasn't just about bathing. Regular grooming rituals were also part of the hygiene practices in Mesopotamia. This included shaving and hair removal, actions that we might find familiar today. To complement these practices, perfumes and aromatic oils were used to mask body odors, adding a pleasant fragrance to the skin. Clearly, the ancient Mesopotamians had a strong emphasis on cleanliness and personal hygiene. Next, we travel to the lands of ancient Greece and Rome, where public baths were a common sight. Called thermae, these public bathhouses were not just places for personal cleanliness, but also bustling social hubs where citizens gathered to chat, relax, and even conduct business. Equipped with hot and cold baths, saunas, and exercise areas, Thermae exemplified the Greek and Roman emphasis on cleanliness and wellness. But hygiene wasn't limited to the bathhouses. Ancient Greeks and Romans highly regarded physical fitness, viewing it as a crucial part of a healthy lifestyle. This belief was particularly evident in the world of athletics. Competitors in the ancient Olympic Games would partake in rigorous training and meticulous bathing rituals to prepare for their events, demonstrating the importance of cleanliness in athletic performance. In ancient Greece and Rome, hygiene was intertwined with social life, wellness, and athletic performance. 
From Egypt to Rome, we've journeyed through time, exploring the hygiene practices of ancient civilizations. We've seen how cleanliness was not merely a matter of comfort, but a crucial factor in maintaining health and well-being. We've discovered the meticulous rituals of ancient Egypt, where natron and water baths were a part of daily life and dental hygiene was remarkably advanced. We've delved into the practices of Mesopotamia, where early forms of soap and regular grooming rituals were commonplace. We've also seen the evolution of hygiene in Greece and Rome, where public baths served as social hubs and cleanliness was tied to athletic performance. Throughout history, the quest for cleanliness has remained a constant reflecting the resilience and adaptability of human societies. These fascinating journeys into the past remind us of the enduring importance of hygiene in our lives. By understanding the hygiene habits of our ancestors, we gain a deeper appreciation for the practices we have today. Until next time, keep exploring the secrets of the past.